Hi guys, it's Nick, the ASMR nerd. Welcome to another episode of Relaxing Reviews. Today, as you might be able to tell, I'm a little bit sick, but more interestingly for you is that I've got a review of a Bluetooth speaker. It's this one right here. S Bodes, or maybe Sabodes, uh, M400 waterproof Bluetooth speaker. Now, this is a fairly nondescript looking Bluetooth speaker right off the bat. It looks kind of like um, the UE Boom series of speakers or any number of other Bluetooth speakers. But there is something interesting about this, and that is that on Amazon, where you can purchase this speaker for $60 US currently. It's got a five star rating with almost a hundred reviews. And that is quite impressive for a product to maintain a five star rating with so many reviews. It also makes me raise an eyebrow slightly uh, because it's not very common that you see such uh, universal praise of a product. So when I was given the opportunity to review this speaker, I said, sure, send it over. Let's see if it's uh, as good as the Amazon reviews seem to say that it is. So um, it does have a few other interesting features. s -Bode has taken sort of the kitchen sink approach here. So it's got all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's got a built-in FM tuner. It's got uh, waterproof construction, of course. It can receive an SD card or just have a slot right in so it can play straight off an SD card. And you can pair two of these speakers together for true stereo sound. All interesting features, all fairly compelling at the $60 price point if it has the sound quality to match. And that's what I'm going to be taking a look at here today. S. Bode did kindly send along two of these speakers, so I will be testing out the stereo pairing functionality. As I mentioned, uh, it is available on Amazon for $60, although it is normally listed at $150. That is the non-discounted price. I've never seen it at that price. Every time I've checked it, it's been around $60 or $70. So that's the price that I evaluated at. But uh, if, as you're watching this review, you're interested in purchasing one of these for yourself, there is, of course, a link down in the video description. Uh, and there are also timestamps down there if you'd like to jump around the review. So let's take a closer look at s -Bode's M400 Bluetooth speaker. And here we have... S Bode's M400 waterproof Bluetooth speaker in box. You can tell it's waterproof because it's got water in the picture, right? <laughs> now, uh, you can't really tell from this angle, but now you can sort of see. It's fairly nicely nicely presented. Uh, I do like the look at this packaging. It's pretty classy. Makes it look like a nice uh, expensive product. And it's uh, good in terms of the, the information it includes. It's advertised oh, I've got to stop dropping this thing here. You can't really see it super great, but there you compare two of these speakers together for true stereo sound. Uh, of course, you would have to purchase or otherwise acquire two of these speakers. And it just so happens, as I mentioned, that s was kind enough to send along two of them for me to test this functionality with. So I'll let you know about that. This is a very squeaky package. It's because the pictures of the speaker are glossy. I don't know if I can get it to catch the light. There you go. Whereas the, uh, 
the white background is matte. <laughs> Chorus of squeaks. All kinds of information, product specifications here. This is an awkwardly shaped box for me to film, but what I'll do is I'll read this out to you. It says here, Spode or Spode M400 multifunction Bluetooth speaker, Bluetooth connectivity, true wireless stereo, if you've got two of them, portable and water resistant. It says that it's uh, got IPX6 water resistance. Now off the top of my head, I don't quite know what that certification means, but I will look it up <laughs> and I'll let you know later in the, the review. I'll also be testing the water resistance of these speakers later in the review. Uh, I think that's only fair if I get them a little wet. See how they handle it. Uh, rechargeable battery, uh-huh. 2200 milliamp hour. Provides up to eight hours of playback time, okay. Uh, Hands-free calling, so it's got a built-in mic. Uh, it's got an auxiliary port uh, for inputs that are not Bluetooth. It's got a built-in FM tuner, and it's got a card reader that you can pop uh, specifically a micro SD card into, it looks like. So it's not a full-size SD card reader, which is too bad. But uh, It comes with the speaker, a couple of cables, total output power of 9 watts, evidently. And that's really what we've got there. Uh, just a couple more key selling points here which we've already read. So, overall, I think it's nice looking packaging. It certainly feels well protected in there. We'll see when we open it up, of course. And uh, it has all the information you would hope to see on it. So, let's take a look inside now. Now I do have two of these, of course. We're only going to be opening one here today because they're identical. No reason to do two. Oh, okay. Check that out. It's got magnets. How do they work? <laughs> you can sort of see right there and right up here. Maybe you can tell, and corresponding magnets over here. So it it kind of snaps, snaps shut and stays closed, even without the sticker. That's nice. It's a nice way to present it. Okay. So this, uh, this top kind of, <clears throat> pardon me, opens like this, like a door. And inside we see the speaker covered in a plastic shroud. Perhaps we can, yes, it just lifts off. speaker. This is a fabric material. So the speaker just sits in a little plastic mold there. And if we take that out, there's probably some accessories and junk under there. I'm going to do that and cut here just because it's going to be a little loud, I think. And this is what we find underneath the black plastic liner. It's a 
little plastic bag with a few items in it. So let's take a look at those. itself. Two cables. Stereo audio, just auxiliary cable. And a micro USB charging cable. It's about what you'd expect. They both look reasonably long, which is nice. And then some literature it says you're happy. We're just happy that you're happy. That's sweet. If you don't know how to express your newfound happiness, we've got a few suggestions. <laughs> this is great, great marketing stuff. Enjoy living your slightly smarter, smart life. Okay. Or share your experience with an Amazon review. Or connect on social media. Mm -hmm. Oh, not happy. What then? Our friendly and hassle-free service will work hard to put a smile back on your face. Oh, that's good to know. Here's how we can connect and a few different social media connection options there. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Please be assured that we offer six months warranty and lifetime technical support. So six months seems a little bit on the stingy side for a warranty. Uh, given that I've seen, uh, you know, other, in fact, other cheaper speakers with uh, a one-year, even I think a two-year warranty on the Aki Bluetooth speaker. But anyway, it does at least state what the warranty is. So that's, that's good. Little instruction booklet. M400B user manual. Dear customer, yada yada yada. Features I already looked at. Package contents. Explains key functions. Button functions, I should say. No surprises there. All about what you'd expect. Playing music from the micro SD card, auxiliary in mode, FM radio, power saving functions, charging. Okay. I don't see anything in here about pairing with another such speaker in order to get stereo playback from two speakers, but I'll figure that out, I'm sure. Okay, let's look at the actual item here. So it's a pretty nice looking, I would say, as I mentioned in the introduction. It is highly reminiscent of the UE Boom style of speakers. I believe JBL also makes some cylindrical speakers that look like this, and a whole host of other companies, of course, but those are the ones that come to mind for me anyway. The speaker grills. Are a um, sort of a rough textured cloth. Feels nice to the touch. The end is just a big exposed driver with the uh, sort of brushed metal concentric rings and then the spode or espode branding. Same thing on the other end. That's probably how it achieves its bass response. It's got these big drivers on either end there. 
There are buttons down the front here, or the back perhaps, hard to tell, isn't it? Power, Bluetooth, uh, probably a pairing button as well as a answer or end call, a play pause, volume up down, and then uh, this must be for the stereo pairing with a second identical speaker. Then we've got a little rubberized cover here. This whole strip is like a soft touch rubberized material. Feels pretty nice. And if we pop open this little cover, inside we are greeted by auxiliary port, a micro USB uh, port for charging, and a micro SD card slot. And what looks like a little pinhole possibly for resetting. And that appears to be that. It's modestly weighty. It's not terribly heavy. But it doesn't feel super light or cheap. The ends here are that soft touch plastic. That matte kind of material. And that's probably what's going to be in contact with surfaces most of the time. It might get scuffed up over time, especially if you're using it outside. You know, it doesn't feel terribly resilient, but it is nice to the touch. If you were just using it inside, it would be fine, I'm sure. But you're going to want to set it on end, because if you set it like this, it's prone to rolling away. Um, it's got these little danglers, I guess, so you could tie it onto a thing or whatever. Um, that's all well and good. And that's really all that we have to see with the speaker. It feels pretty solid. have a whole lot of creakiness or jankiness to it so it feels like a nice solid product okay well i think we've seen what we needed to see with the speaker itself the build quality and presentation and of course all the packaging there the next question will be how does it sound and as i've explained in my other uh, bluetooth speaker reviews I can't really play it for you here, or I, I can, but there's not a lot of reason for me to do so because all you will hear is whatever device you are listening to. So your headphones or your speakers, you'll just hear whatever they sound like. The characteristics of this speaker will not really come through for you. So I'm going to go and listen to this on my own time, do some extensive li listening tests. I will also check out the Bluetooth functionality in terms of ease of pairing, uh, range and reception and consistency, and the stereo pairing functionality that they advertise here. Uh, and when that's all done, I will come back and we'll talk about it. I'll let you know what I think. So, time to go give these things a listen. All right. Well, after listening extensively to S. Bode's M400 Bluetooth speakers across a wide variety of audio sources and different kinds of music, I have to say the sound quality is very much a mixed bag. And what I mean by that is the first impression is pretty good. The trebles are nice and clear and well-defined. Uh, as are the mid-range uh, tones. So like vocals come forward very nicely. Acoustic instruments sound very, very good. But what's lacking is the bass. There's really very little bass. And I was hoping, given the, the design of these speakers, that the bass response would be impressive. You know, they look like they're designed to, to resonate, to really get some nice low end um, in a, you know, for their size at least. Unfortunately, that was not the case. It was not borne out in the listening tests. Moreover, the trebles, the highs, 
were a bit harsh to listen to like they they resulted in some fatigue after a while actually i just i felt like i i didn't want to keep listening to these speakers after an extended period of listening now uh that could be partially due to uh their very um high degree of directionality so even though they look like a fairly omnidirectional speaker as a matter of fact the speakers fire this way um, and the treble tones the high tones are very sensitive to directionality so if you're listening to it on axis like this the trebles come across pretty harsh if you're listening to it off axis so that the trebles are firing out that way um, it modulates them somewhat and it helps soften them off a little bit but overall i wasn't terribly impressed by the audio quality of Espode's M400. Again, vocals and acoustic instruments sounded pretty good. Classical music sounded fairly nice, but across all genres of music, it was lacking that depth, that underpinning of the low end. And the mixed bag carries right on through to connectivity as well. Uh, pairing up with my phone took a couple of tries, and that's not particularly uncommon. I find that a lot of Bluetooth devices just take a few refreshes to get things to, to work properly. So that in itself is not particularly damning. But what I did do is I tested the stereo pairing functionality with two of these guys. Getting them paired in the stereo configuration was actually very, very easy. There's a dedicated button on here, which you can probably see right there wants to focus there you go and really all you have to do is press it on one press it on the other they'll find one another and they'll pair and they'll remember that pairing from session to session so if you power them off as soon as you turn them both back on they'll find one another pair up no problem stereo speakers so that part was done very well nice and easy um, but the problem that I ran into was in listening to music in stereo mode, occasionally the two speakers would get out of sync. Um, there'd be a, a little bit of skipping or some kind of signal issue with one of them, and it would end up playing just a millisecond or something behind the other one, which ended, uh, ended up with this really weird sort of echo effect. And to be fair, the speakers would self-correct after a couple of seconds, they would return into synchronization. But uh, it happened frequently enough, I want to say every couple of minutes probably, that it was kind of unpleasant and it definitely disturbed the listening experience. This was not with the speakers widely spaced. They were sitting maybe one to two meters apart on the top of my desk, so not very far. They had line of sight to one another, and my phone was only about a meter as well uh, away, so uh, also with line of sight to both speakers. So I'm not quite sure how they're communicating. If the speakers, like if the phone communicates to one speaker, which then communicates with the other, or if the phone is communicating with both speakers independently, or if there's something else going on there, I'm really not quite sure. But whatever it is, it was great when it worked, but it wasn't working all of the time and it was enough to be kind of annoying so unfortunately both the audio quality and the connectivity are a bit of a mixed bag with Espode's m400 however there is a couple of other features that are worth mentioning the fm radio worked as advertised the reception was fine if not exceptional i was able to get some local stations I don't know if you still listen to FM radio, I very rarely do, but if that's a feature that you use, then it's good to know that it works. And finally, the waterproofing. I mentioned these are IPX6 water resistant. This doesn't mean that they're waterproof and they cannot be submerged, at least they're not rated for submersion. However, they can survive or withstand um, a sustained stream of water. That's the description for the IPX6 rating. And so I took this guy uh, into the shower and tried it out and it got a bit wet and it continued to work quite happily. Uh, so as far as I can tell, no issues with the water resistance. 
Would they stand up to repeated exposure to the elements? Like if you left it outside in rainstorms or something like that? Hard to say. I don't have that long to test it for you, unfortunately. Um, but in my short bit of testing, the water resistance seems to hold up. The uh, concern that I would have <laughs> with leaving these out in a rainstorm or something it really relates back to that warranty. That six months warranty suggests to me that perhaps the manufacturer doesn't have all that much confidence in the ability of these speakers to last. Again, it would be much nicer to see one or even two years, especially on something that's advertised as being particularly durable and water resistant. All right, so where does that leave us with S. Bode's M400 Bluetooth speaker? Well, let's summarize the pros and the cons, as I like to do at the end of the video here. We'll start with the pros. The first thing that I like about this speaker is that it looks pretty good. Sure, it's similar to a lot of others out there on the market, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think it looks fairly refined and elegant and modern. And overall, I'm a fan of the reasonably understated styling. The second thing that I appreciate about the speaker is that the pairing was quite easy. It took a couple tries with my phone, but the pairing between the two speakers to create the stereo pair was seamless and, uh, and very easy to accomplish, so I appreciated that. The third thing that I liked about this speaker was that it did get quite loud, and it was quite clear through its volume range. I ran into no distortion, even at maximum volume. I did run into a little bit of hiss uh, at maximum volume, but that's pretty typical of most Bluetooth speakers. Uh, so it did remain loud and clear right up to the top of its volume range. The fourth thing that I appreciate about this speaker is the FM tuner. That's not a feature that you see all that often in Bluetooth speakers, and if it's something that you make use of, it's a nice value-added feature. And finally, I appreciate that this thing is water-resistant. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to hold up over the long term, but in my short-term testing, at the very least, uh, it had no problem shrugging off uh, some water in the shower, and it did indeed work as advertised in that regard. And now, time for the cons. We talked about this in the audio quality section, but the biggest con for me is the lack of bass. It's really lacking that bottom end, and it just makes everything sound a bit thin and mid-forward and, and treble-forward. Uh, so you just don't have that nice, fat, meaty underpinning that fleshes out the tone. It's just it's not there. When you're listening at lower volumes, it's more audible, but as you ramp up the volume, the uh, mid-tones and higher tones seem to increase disproportionately, and it just can't bring that bass up to support the sound as it gets louder. Related to that is the issue with those harsh trebles. Uh, the high end is just kind of unpleasant to listen to and a bit abrasive, especially when you're on axis with the speaker. Not so bad when you're off axis, but I just found that I ended up with some listener's fatigue, essentially. And after a while, I just didn't really want to keep listening to these speakers. And that wasn't with all kinds of music. As I said, these speakers do better with uh, vocal heavy music, with acoustic music particularly, sounded quite nice. But uh, I was listening to some metal, some rock, uh, and it just it wasn't super pleasing on the ear. It was a bit harsh. The third con with these speakers is the reception hiccups that I ran into. Uh, this was especially an issue when I had two of them paired in the stereo mode. As I mentioned, every, every once in a while one of them would fall behind just by a couple of milliseconds, but it was audible. Uh, and they would self-correct and synchronize properly once again, but it happened frequently enough to be annoying and a bit of a problem. And finally, my fourth issue with these speakers is that stingy warranty. It's a six-month warranty, and to S. Bode's credit, 
they do state up front that there is a warranty, which is better than some products I've reviewed, and they state the length of the warranty in no uncertain terms. They even direct you to where you can get tech support and help should you run into issues with your speaker. That's all very good. Espo should be commended for that. However, a six-month warranty on a product that's supposed to be waterproof and reasonably durable just doesn't inspire a whole lot of confidence in that product's longevity. So I would really love to see a longer warranty on this product, and I'd love to know that Espoed has more confidence in their product. So what's my final verdict on Espoed's M400 waterproof Bluetooth speaker? Well, if you're in the market for a Bluetooth speaker that looks pretty good, that has an FM tuner, and is water resistant, then I think you could do a lot worse. But I think you could probably do better as well, quite frankly. Uh, I've listened to speakers that are significantly cheaper than this that I thought sounded better, and I don't know if the additional features justify the loss of audio quality with this product. But it's worth taking a look at, and if you are interested in this particular speaker, you can find a link down in the video description. You can read some of the Amazon reviews for yourself. As I mentioned at the beginning of this review, it is very highly rated on Amazon, uh, five stars. And I don't know what those people are hearing in this speaker. I don't know what they're comparing it to. But if I were to give it a rating out of five stars, I would comfortably give it a three out of five star rating. That's about where I think it sits. But anyway, go check it out. Uh, it's worth taking a look at. Extra special thanks to Esbode for sending along not one, but two of these speakers for me to test out here for all of you guys here today. And thank you to all of you for watching today. I hope you found this video informative. I hope you found it relaxing, and I look very forward to having you back here next time for another episode of Relaxing Reviews. Bye for now.